Lesson 14, Introduction to Divisibility Rules. Take a look at part one. We have question one, will this problem divide evenly or will there be a remainder? 412,284 divided by eight. Question two, will this problem divide evenly or will there be a remainder? 412,284 divided by six. And you can actually answer both of these questions without actually doing the entire division problem. All you have to do is use the divisibility rules in this chart. And notice that the divisibility rules for the following groups of divisors are related. So we're going to fill them out together when it's time. 2, 5, and 10. 2, 4, and 8. 3, 6, and 9. Let's start with the divisibility rule for dividing by 1. If you have a divisor of 1, every number is divisible by 1. So write it down. Next, let's learn the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 since they're related. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is divisible by 2. Also, a number is divisible by 2 if it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. And these are even numbers. Next up, dividing by 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is divisible by 5. Also, a number is divisible by 5 if it ends in 5 or 0. Next, dividing by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is divisible by 10. Also, a number is divisible by 10 if it ends in 0. Now let's learn the divisibility rules for 2, 4, and 8 since they're related. Earlier, we saw that a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. So let's write it down. Here's the rule for dividing by 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. Let's write it down. Next, let's learn the rules for dividing by 3, 6, and 9 since they're related. Let's work on dividing by 3 and dividing by 9 first. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So write down sum of digits is divisible by 3. Here's the rule for dividing by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So write down sum of digits is divisible by 9. Last one, the divisibility rule for dividing by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. And the reason for that is 2 times 3 equals 6. Let's go over three examples in part 2. Part 2 says, use divisibility rules to answer each question and defend your answer. So let's work on this one here. 412,284 divided by 2. Is it divisible? Yes or no? And the divisibility rule for dividing by 2 is right here. See if the last digit is divisible by 2. So is this last digit of 4 divisible by 2? And the answer is yes. So the whole number is divisible by 2. And here you can see 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So 4 is divisible by 2. Here's the next example. Let's work on this problem right here. 412,284 divided by 5. Is it divisible? Yes or no? And the divisibility rule for 5 is right here. Check to see if the last digit is divisible by 5. So is this last digit of 4 divisible by 5? And the answer is no. So that means the whole number 
is not divisible by 5. And how do we know? 4 is not divisible by 5. Let's do one more example. 412,284 divided by 3. Is it divisible? Yes or no? And the divisibility rule for dividing by 3 is right here. Check to see if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So let's add up the digits. We have 8 plus 2 equals 10. 4 more gives us 14. 4 more gives us 18, 19, 20, and 21. So the sum of the digits equals 21. And is 21 divisible by 3? The answer is yes, so that means the entire number is divisible by 3.